So, I've been trying to figure out where in this big Bible where it states that you don't have to stop sinning because God understands you. You're still going to heaven. You don't follow the rules, laws, ways, regulation, the will of God. You don't walk in the spirit. You sin. You complain. You nitpick. Everything goes disarray. You blame God. You tell God you cursed me. You pray. You give thanks and appreciation only when something goes good for your way. Please somebody tell me where can I find that in my Bible because I can't find it of course not you have to repent you have to walk in the spirit you have to fast you have to sow seed you have to pay your tithe you have to walk a tight rope the path is that narrow You guys just think it's so easy. That is why very few are making it. Not only does, does God chastise you to keep you in line, but you have to be a drill sergeant upon yourself to make sure you don't. To make sure... You follow his ways, rules, laws, regulation, word for word. No, everybody just thinks, oh, I pray I'm going to heaven. Oh, I give thanks, I go to heaven. Oh, I pray I go to I'm going to heaven. Oh, I did this, I'm, I'm going to heaven. You know, I really wish it was just that simple. But guess what? It's not. So, while you're living your life, that the devil just so loves absolutely going against God and his word and the laws that Christ laid down for us along with Yahweh you go ahead and keep lying to yourself just know I'm going to keep speaking the truth because of all the books and the chapters and the verses in this beautiful book Nowhere does it say that you can keep living the way you want to live and not repent. When it plainly states, simply broken down in the physical and in the spiritual realm, meaning to everything that's written in this book. It's not just written for you to understand it in the, in the, in the, uh, in the flesh but also in the spirit. So there's two ways of understanding this Bible, and that's why most will not make it. So please, for the love of God, stop believing your foolishness because your own ignorance is sending you to hell. Now, if I seem to offend anybody, because I've been talking to many people, Lately, and you know, they tell me, Hey, you know, I'm this, I'm this, I do this, and I this way, and this way. Am I going to hell? You're damn right, you are. I will bluntly tell you, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I'm not gonna lie for you, I'm not gonna be nice about it, I'm going to be cold hearted, truthful about it. I mean, technically, it is being nice because I'm telling you the truth. If I was lying to you, that would be kind of bad, but. I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm not going to exaggerate for you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to, oh, well, no. You're doing this, and it's against God. It states that it's against God. Yes, I'm going to tell you to your face, you're going to hell. If you were doing anything in this Bible that is against God, one thing can send you to hell. Even one walking in righteousness slips back, plainly states, you'll go to hell. So don't slip. Not in front of God. 
Because I'm going to tell you this right now. It's very hard. But if you love God like you say you do, you want to go to heaven like you say you do, I suggest you just crack the whip. And walk that very narrow, tight rope. It is not easy. But once you get the hang of it and make it a habit of walking in absolute righteousness, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. You've got to want it like there's no tomorrow. You've got to be so desperate for it. You smell it, taste it, see it, breathe it, hear it, sleep it, everything. God and heaven. I love the people of this world. I love my children. I, I love everybody. Don't get me wrong. I love everybody. But I put God above all of them. I put God above all of them. If somebody come up to me, even if one of my children said, if you love God more than me, I'm going to kill myself. And I'm like, well, I love God more than you. Satan himself, nor no human here on earth, is ever going to make me change my love for God. God first above all things. Because all humans will betray you, lie to you, steal from you, kill you, cheat on you. It does not matter. The flesh and blood we are not to trust and we are not to depend on because they will fail you. And God will make sure they do just because you're ignorant enough to put your trust in man and not in God. God for foremost, first and foremost, God above all things. God. And if you, when you realize, when you keep putting God above everything... Now, oh, well, this is going to make me feel. How is this going to make God feel? Like I say, the, the old saying, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? What would Jesus say? What would Jesus think? How would Jesus react? You've got to keep your focus on the cross. y'all don't so all I gotta do spread the word walk in obedience walk in righteousness obey the word of God obey all his commands that is it one and a lot of other things too fasting and sowing uh, sowing seed and tide but you gotta understand it it's not an easy task. It's not an easy task, but you have to desperately want it. And I'm not giving it up for nobody. I'm not going to allow Satan. I have victory in God. So not man, nor Satan is going to come against me. He can try. But that never works out in their favor. <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, it does not work out in their favor. God will have your back. You just got to prove that you want to go to heaven. But I will always put God above everything and everybody. And if it offends anybody, I'm sorry, but no man on earth, no human, no man, no woman, no child, no nobody, is worth going to hell for. I don't care who you are and how much you pay me. If you pay me $10 million a minute. Heaven's more important to me. I know where my father's at. And I know where I will resign. And as sure in the hell ain't in hell. Glory to God. I pray that you get close to him. I love y'all. God bless you. I'm Mother Hefsible with Rise Up Dry Bones, Evangelical Power Ministry International.